These two Muslim imams kicked off a plane headed for Charlotte. Tonight they say it's a clear case of religious profiling. It reminded me the black lady was kicked from the, uh, from bus because of some racism. That history I found today. And the irony of the story, these men were flying in from Memphis for a weekend seminar on Islamophobia. Hello and welcome. I'm Paul Cameron. And I'm Brigitte Mac. Molly is off tonight. WBTV Steve Crump on your side, live in the newsroom. Steve, you broke this story today, then spoke with these imams when they finally made it to Charlotte. Do these men plan to take legal action? Well, live tonight from Charlotte Douglas International Airport, it is too early to tell if they plan on taking any legal action. But since bringing you this story earlier this afternoon, we understand that the U.S. Attorney's Office has been brought into the conversation along with the United States Department of Justice, and the two men have hired a local attorney. They arrived in Charlotte, obviously frustrated, eight hours late, and sorely confused. We are living in America. We want the security of America. Security may be the reason why Imams Masood Rahman and Mohammed Zaglul spent the day stranded in Memphis. The two men feel they were the victims of religious profiling after being kicked off an earlier flight. Rahman says a Delta supervisor told him the decision was made by the pilot. Why pilot is not allowing you to go, I don't know. But I asked him, what is the reason? He said, may some passenger will be uncomfortable. Delta Flight 5452 was operated by Atlanta Southeast Airlines, a subcarrier that flies for Delta. An ASA statement acknowledged the incident saying, quote, we take security and safety very seriously, and the event is currently under investigation. It goes on to say, we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience that this may have caused. From what I saw before I boarded the plane, those were the only two passengers that were screened. The extra screening came to the imams as they were heading to Charlotte to be part of a national conference dealing with the issues of Islamophobia. We thought we had gotten beyond that, but we haven't. Uh, we, uh, we haven't. We're just in, we just have entered into a new phase of civil rights struggle. These are the battles that these imams and, and the Muslim communities uh, in the United States face on a day-to-day -day basis. The U.S. Attorney's Office and the Justice Department have been notified to see if the men's civil rights were violated. It shouldn't happen with any other person, regardless the religion, regardless the color, regardless the profession. At this point, it's unclear how far this case will proceed through the legal channels, but when we talked to those two men as they were leaving the airport earlier this evening, they said all they want is an apology from the pilot. Live tonight from Charlotte Lungus International, Steve Crump, WBTV, on your side. Thank you, Steve. If you want to read the entire statement from the airline on this incident, we've posted it on WBTV.com. You'll see it right on our homepage. Again,